Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy, The Chocolate Bay. I want to say hello to all my loves, y'all. This is going to be a quick video. Um, I'm just going to talk about the murder, the slaughter of Rayshard Brooks. Um, as many of you know, uh, Rayshard Brooks, he's a 20, well, he was a 27-year-old black male. He was in a line at Wendy's. And um, he had fell asleep, you know, during this COVID. A lot of fast food places are open. Y'all, you know, the drive through lines are like from here to China. But anyway, he fell asleep in drive through and the people or the workers, someone called the police. The police arrived. They did tests. Um, from what I've been reading and hearing, some say that he passed the test. Some say that he did not, that he was intoxicated. So as uh, Ray Short was, you know, uh, speaking with the two police officers, one name is Bronson and the other one name is uh, Roth. They got in a little scuffle. So Ray, Ray Shard grabbed the stun gun and he fled. And I think they said from uh, my accounts of reading the uh, articles and seeing clips that he flashed it at one of the officers. Now, y'all, as this man was fleeing, fleeing, running, one of the officers shot him in the back three times, th three times, y'all, as he was fleeing from the back, from the back now. And he died of organ failure and a lot of blood loss. And to me, this is just atrocious. Um, Roth was was terminated, and the other one, Bronson, was put on um, administrative duty. But y'all, this is just death. When in America are we going to wake up, black people? When are we going to wake up? We will fight for foolishness. But causes like this that affects all of us, many of us, I'm a black male myself. I have a black brother. I have family, nephews, um, my dad. When are we going to learn that this country wasn't built or designed to protect a lot of people that resemble us? It wasn't. It wasn't. And what gets me with these officers, with the thing that happened previously with Floyd, I would be extra cautious. But it's it's like this racism, this bigotry this systemic racism they don't care they they perceive us as being you know just animals vicious animal like mentality not human and i don't understand will when we we when will we wake up and see that i don't get this after all that's been going on with black men and women being murdered in this country and something so easily as this case with ray shard it's easy. This man wasn't even violent. Like, it, hit, it was a little scuffle, but this man was fleeing, and you shoot him in the back three times, y'all. Three times. Like, three times. And it's sad that this is what this country has become. We've built this country. And these two officers, these white officers, this is what you guys think of us. I mean, this man was fleeing. You shot him in the back. That says a lot, y'all. Like that says a whole lot. But I don't understand when will we when will we wake up as a people? We argue over petty BS, but issues like this that matter, we don't stand up at all. We, we don't stand up at all. We want to change, but many of us aren't willing to do the work to make things change. We're not willing to protest. We're not willing to speak up. We're not willing to tell our stories. Well, we're not willing to try to change laws or change minds. We're willing to participate in foolery and foolishness, but not in issues of seriousness like this. Black men and black women being murdered. Like, this is just atrocious and sad. And I he should be charged with murder. You know? I just don't get this, y'all. I, I just... It amazed me with everything that's going on. Like, how could people be so callous and think of black people so less than? So less than. And this man was married for eight years. He had three daughters. One of his daughters' birthday was coming up. He was going to take her skating. And he's gone. 27-year-old black man, y'all. 27-year-old black man. Who who would think a, you know, an incident like this would end up in someone being murdered? But, yeah, this, this country is just... It's not designed for people that resemble us. It's just so much. Um, it's a complex issue with, you know, slavery, um, black codes, uh, Jim Crow laws, a lot of stuff that held us back and continuously 
continue to hold people of color back, black people. So I don't understand why how people think that um, training or uh, things in place where it's already systemic issues already there that's been laid since the beginning of time, slavery. How could we change the minds of those people? You can't, y'all. You can't. But comment below, peace.